We've been working on fossil footprints for a long time, but the one thing that you really, really want is to, to get something about the interaction of one animal with another. And it's that behavioral ecology, the way that one thing behaves to another, that's really important. And at White Sands, we have that. So um, they've never found a human footprints there before, but they have now found them. More importantly, we can um, see how those humans were hunting, stalking, and then hunting um, giant ground sloth. And a giant ground sloth is a big animal. You know, it's seven, eight feet tall with a rid up on its hind legs. Understanding the way in which our ancestors might have um, tackled big prey and the fact that they did tackle big prey is, is quite interesting because a big animal like this would have come with huge amounts of risk. Um, you know, if you were chasing a small rabbit or something, little risk associated, but going head to head with a sloth, the chances are that you might come off badly and therefore what justifies that greater risk. So we can begin to understand how they did it, how they actually um, stalked and attacked these um, large animals, hunted them, and that gives us a better understanding on whether um, we as humans are guilty or not in that role of um, extinction. It's a big discovery to have um, humans there. It's also on a scale like no other um, footprint site that we know of in the Americas. So the, the chances of getting more information about how um, our ancestors hunted different types, you know, I suppose, how did they, we assume they were going after mammoth as well, how did they um, tackle that? That's there to be read in, in, in the footprints in the mud at White Sands given time.